Ever wonder what happens to the protein in your food? Let's break down protein metabolism, how your body turns protein into fuel and building materials. Proteins are made of amino acids which are like the building blocks of life. These amino acids are connected by peptide bonds forming long chains folded into complex shapes. In your stomach enzymes like pepsin start breaking the protein into smaller pieces called peptides. This process happens in an acidic environment created by your stomach acid. In your small intestine, enzymes like trypsin and chymotrypsin, made by your pancreas, break those peptides into individual amino acids. These amino acids are absorbed into your bloodstream and sent to your cells. Once delivered, amino acids are used to build new proteins, repair tissues, create enzymes that speed up chemical reactions, and produce hormones to send signals in your body. But what happens if your body has more amino acids than it needs? Amino acids have two main chemical groups, an amino group and a carboxyl group. Your liver removes the nitrogen part of the amino acids, the amino group, in a process called deamination. This creates ammonia which is harmful if it builds up. To keep you safe, your liver converts ammonia into urea through the urea cycle. Urea is sent to your kidneys and excreted in urine. This is how your body safely gets rid of the extra nitrogen. The rest of the amino acid called the carbon skeleton isn't wasted, your liver recycles it through a process called gluconeogenesis, turning it into glucose, a source of energy especially when carbs are low. So protein metabolism breaks down proteins into amino acids. Your body uses them to build and repair itself, safely removes extra nitrogen as urea, and recycles the rest for energy. It's an incredibly efficient system. If you enjoyed this and want to learn more fascinating science, hit subscribe and join us for more.